If they type in exact over here, the fourth bullet said, if both players make the same choice, the game must be played again to determine the winner, right? So, the game must be played. There are so, uh, so many ways we can go around this. But if none of them type the same thing, winner is going to stay at no winner. We can test on that value to see if it's no winner, and then we can do something. But what I want to do is, at this point, I will have the winner in the variable, and I'll have the custom message. So I want to go ahead and create a, a final message over here. Let's see. Let me see. Um, custom message. Oh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and create the final message variable. Where is it? I'm sorry. I'm moving up the page too much. It's going to. It's also going to be a string. I'm going to put together a final message here. It's going to be a string, and I'll say, final message. It's not going to be equal to. I'm, going to, I'm just going to put together a string and say um, you know let me see something here because I wanted to I wanted to return that whole string now I have a couple of variables I want to return so there, there are a couple of ways I can do this um, Instead of returning, well, I'll need I'll need to return it. I can go ahead and return w the winner variable, but I, I can also go ahead and print out who won. But in that case, if there's no winner, then it's going to print out you know a w weird weird custom messages. All right, so you know what's going to happen. Um, I want to go ahead and just I'm just going to go I'm just going to cr I'm just going to print out. A final message, and now and we'll fix we'll fix when when it's equal later on. We'll fix when it's equal later on. So this is what I'm going to do. I, I'm still going to put together the final message here. The final message is ba basically I'm going to put together a string. I'm going to say final message is going to be equal to. Now I'll have the winner stored in winner variable in the winner variable. So I'm going to say winner. Final message is going to be called to winner. I'm concatenating it with the string one, right? And over here, I'm going to open open um, a parenthesis and concatenate it with the custom message. And I'm going to concatenate it with the closing parentheses like this, and then terminate it. So when I'm done, I want to create a final message concatenate the winner to it and concatenate one and concatenate the custom message so I'll have the winner and I'll say you know, for example if it, the winner is you I would say it would, say it would read you won and it would also display the custom message if it's people rocks rock or what or whatever so anytime I call by the time anytime I call this that's what's going to happen anytime I call the choose winner that's exactly what's going to happen so once over, over here, um, let's 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 see. Well, w once I create this myth, um, this final message, I also also want to go ahead and return it, right? So I can print out, I can go ahead and print out the value, or I can do whatever I want with it. So I'm going to return final message here, like this. Let me compile this. Well, first of all, I have a couple of words. Let me fix it. Um, one error found. Where's the error? Variable custom message might not have been initialized. So custom message needs to it needs to know what it is initially. I forgot to initialize it. So custom message, where is it? Is equal to nothing initially. Nothing initially, but the value is going to be changed be t depending on these conditions. So I compile it and now we're done. But let me run this. I haven't called anything yet, so I haven't called the choose winner yet. So nothing is going to happen. We are back to where we were. When I type in rock and I hit enter, it says you chose rock, computer chose rock. Now let's what I'm going to do in main is I'm going to go ahead and call the choose winner. The choose winner variable. And then I'm going to pass in the two arguments I'm supposed to pass into it. So the choose winner takes in the computer choice and then the user choice. Choose winner is going to take in 
a computer choice here that I have generated here and then a user choice. So computer choice and user choice. Let me see. It takes in computer choice, user choice. All right. So I have the computer choice here and I have the user choice here. So let's see what it's first of all it's going to return final message. Choose winner is going to return the final message. You can see you can see it over here. Oops. I'm trying to fit it all on the on the on the screen. Yeah, it's going to return the final message. We can see it here. So I want to print out the final message that is returned. So I'm printing system that out the print. What is being returned? Print Ellen. What is being returned from the method call choose winner? So I'm going to compile this and run it. I'm typing in rock. And now it says you chose rock, computer chose paper. Computer one, paper wraps rock. So let's see. We are dealing with rock and paper because I chose rock, computer chose paper. Over here it says if one player chooses rock, and another player and any other player chooses scissors. So that's not it. If one player chooses paper and one player another player chooses rock. Okay, so we're dealing with paper and rock. So we're dealing with the third one. If one player chooses paper and the other player chooses rock, then whoever chose paper wins. Then paper wins. Okay. Because the computer chose paper. Computer one, paper wraps rock, and the message is paper wraps rock. So it's working. Let's try another one. I'm going to choose. Oh, well, it's supposed to be scissors, right? The menu is supposed to be scissors. Let me change the menu to read scissors. Or is it? <laughs> yeah, over here. So scissors. And I'm going to type in scissors myself. Okay. So I'm going to type in scissors. Hit enter. Now it says you chose <laughs> you chose scissors. Computer chose scissors. So remember, so 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 the, 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 this is what I was trying to um, you know I was thinking about. So it makes sense. So. N none of these conditions were were true in this case. None of these conditions were true. So in that case, okay. So in that case, no winner over here stayed the same because none of these conditions were, were true. Winner winner didn't change. Winner stayed at no no winner. Custom message stayed at nothing. All right. The final message now is going to stay at no winner concatenated word. The string one when an opening parenthesis custom message stays as nothing, and then there's going to be a closing parenthesis, and that's why because they were because we both chose scissors, and none of these conditions were true. Okay, the the winner variable um, stayed at no win, and that's why it's the final message is displaying no winner concatenated with one concatenated with this parentheses here okay and then concatenated with custom message now custom message is nothing because it stayed the same if if none of these conditions are, tr are true then custom message will stay the same will stay will stay as, n as nothing if none of these conditions are true custom message wouldn't change it would stay as nothing and then so we are concatenating basically no winner to one to nothing into to the opening parenthesis. So if no winner, <coughs> so basically if they type in the same thing, we're always going to get the string. We can work with this string because because if we're always getting this string when they 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 both or we both type in the same same thing, then that's good. We can actually work on this string and say if this is returned, then I keep on asking them to play again, right? Keep on asking them to play again. So we can do that. We can keep it simple and even not put, uh, put not put parentheses. We can go ahead and just say winner one would 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 just co you know concatenate into custom custom message. We can just remove this, and then anytime no winner one, it's just going to say no winner one. That's it. And ev and every time 
we type the same thing, it's going to be one one clear, simple message. So when I run and I type in rock, now it says no winner one because we both chose rock. See, it's 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 looking good now. When I type in scissors, now it says you won. Uh, scissors cuts paper. But you see, it's jumbled and jumbled here. That's why I wanted to put so I'm trying to do with parentheses. If I run this again and I type in something like rock, computer one, rock, no winner one. So you can see, because we, cho we both chose rock, I'm going to take it back to the parentheses just so it looks good. But the thing is, now anytime we chose, we choose the same thing. Now over here, we chose rock, paper, whoever chose paper. Really, whoever chose people, people won. Rock, paper, let's see. Rock, paper, and rock. Okay, so people won. So, okay, that's true. I want to try something that's the same. Let's say you won. Rock smashes the scissors. Now it says no winner one. If we type the same thing, it's always going to say no winner one. It's always going to print this variable, uh, this string. So we can work with it. We can work with it and say over here. When we are calling it in main, when we are when we are calling the choose winner over here in main, we can do this. We can say we can create a, we can create this. Um, let me see. We can create a, a while loop and say while while this method returns while choose while this method returns. Um, so first of all, let, let, first of all, let, let's break this down again into small chunks just so it doesn't confuse you. Now we understand up to this point, so we, we're good here. So we know the choose winner method. The choose winner method is going <coughs> is always returning some kind of a string, like a final message, the final message, right? So let's go ahead and create a string. I'm going to go ahead and create a string variable. Okay, string variable. I'm going to call it winner. Okay, this is in main. This is in main. I'm going to stick with main. In main, I'm going to call this um, uh, winner, and winner is going to be called to this method call, which is choose winner. Choose winner is always remember returning a, a, a string, which is which is the winner. You know, either it's rock, uh, user one, computer one, rock smashes. You know, a, a, any of it. it's going to basically return a string. So winner is going to hold a string. So over here. I can go ahead and just print winner. System that out prints winner and it's going to display it to us the winner. It, it, when, it, when it's no win, when it's no winner or something. So I can just go system that out. Let print L in here. And then I can say it's print winner because now I've created winner over here. Well, let, let, let's let's break it down break it down even further. I'm going to over here de declare just winner. Oops, I'm going to just declare the variable winner, not just initialize it straight ahead. So winner, and over here I'm just going to say winner is equal to this method call. So winner is going to be stored in winner, the variable winner. And I can over here I can say system that ln winner. So when I compile this and I run it, options to choose from. The computer has made this choice. I'm going to type in rock. Now it says you chose rock. Computer chose rock. No winner. No winner one. So any time that we choose the same thing, this same exact message is going to display. Same exact message. I run it again. I type in rock. It says you chose rock. Computer chose scissors. You won. Rock smashes the scissors. Now it looks good as a message. Rock and scissors. Let's compare. If one person chooses rock, one player chooses rock, and the other player chooses scissors, rock wins. Whoever chose rock wins. Because I chose rock and the user chooses scissors, it said, you won. I won. The rock smashes the scissors. The message is displayed. So so far so good. But now let now when there's no winner over here, the computer said if both players make the same choice, the game must be played again to determine the winner. So let's do let, let's do that. You know, let's make the program do that automatically. Right? Let's make the player do do that automatically. So over here, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say while I'm going to create a while loop. After it displays your choice and the user choice, I'm going to say while let me see while winner what while while what is being returned from winner okay let me just go ahead and delete this Sorry. while what is being returned from well basically while the value 
of winner, which is which is what is being returned from the, the method choose winner. So while the value of winner, okay, dot equals, remember the, this method dot equals exactly, we don't have to say compare, ignore, it goes ignore case because it's always going to return one, it's, it's always going to return exactly a string and that string is going to be no winner one with parentheses like this. We can, because it's anytime, based on how we set it up, anytime we type in the same names, this is this exact string that's returned based on how we set it up. We can change it, modify it, but this works for us and it's good. We can use it. It's fine. It's perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. <coughs> so while we, um, winner dot equals okay while um, winner string so while the string dot equals no winner one what we want to do we want we want them to go ahead and play again right so while it's equal to while it's, it's equal is the same we want to go ahead and let's see show them the menu again right we want to well first of all we want to display display a, a message to them and say first uh, display a message to them and say system dot out dot print ln and not say you both chose well, well first of all it's going to it's going to it's going to display that in, initially because we're going to see it but I'm going to also add a message and say you both chose the same thing. Please play again. So we want to go ahead and display this message, show the menu to them again, get the computer choice, get a user's choice, and then choose a winner. Right? And it's going to come if it chooses a winner it's going to come and check it check again to see what happens so let's see over here so we we'll choose a winner and then display this message as well display you chose user choice oops sorry I'll fix the I'll fix the structure later on, but I'm just trying to put it together so it makes sense. So while the how's while's winner dot equals is this, you want to go ahead and we want to go ahead and do all this stuff. And just bear with me. I'm just looking through something here. We want to display this message. You chose this, computer chose this, and we want to now print out the value of winner. We'll test this out in this one. I just want to see what's happening. Okay, so. Okay, so initially it's going to show the message. I mean, show show the menu, right? It's going to get a computer's choice, get a user's choice. It's going to get the winner, and display. You chose this, right? It's going to display you chose user choice. You chose uh, the computer chose this, and it it also has to go ahead and print out just like this. So it also has to go ahead and print the winner. Right. So if this message is let's say no winner, it's going to start again. It's going to see this while open. While it's equal to no winner one, it's going to ask them again. Keep asking them again until they type in the correct value. But guess what? If if everything here is fine and it's not equal to if if what both of us typed is not equal to this, it's not it's not the same, then this while loop is not going to run. This while loop is only going to run if after winner has been generated, winner is equal to no winner one. Okay, 
So now let's try this. Run it. So options to choose from, rock, paper, scissors. The computer has made this choice. I'm going to type in rock. You chose rock, computer chose paper, computer one, paper, and the, and the program ends. Because when it got to this while loop, the winner, the value of the winner, which is this, wasn't no winner one, nothing happened. It, 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 it worked perfectly. It, it, it stopped there. This is only going to run if at the end of the day, what we typed is the same. So I'm going to, let's see. I wanted to cross check to see if this is correct. Rock and paper, right? It only rock and paper. If one player chooses rock and scissors, scissors and paper, paper and rock. Okay, so one player chooses paper and the other chooses rock. Then whoever chose paper, paper wins. I, I chose rock, computer chose paper. So computer chose, comp computer won. Paper wraps rock, which makes sense. So that's correct. Let's run it again and, and count up when, when we both type in the same thing. So rock. Okay, so this is also another one. That's that's fine. So this is this is rock and scissors. If one player chooses rock and the other player chooses scissors, then a rock wins. I choke rock, rock, and I won. Rock smashes. That's that's also working. Let me run it again. Computer. Okay, now this is also another one. Rock and paper. Rock and paper, paper and rock. Paper wins. Com computer chose paper, so the computer won. Okay. Rock and paper, computer won because they chose paper. Same thing. We will encounter when we both type in the same thing soon. Rock and scissors. Rock and scissors here. Then rock. Uh, whoever typed in rock wins. I type in rock so you want rock smashes and scissors so that's also working rock and scissors okay now over here you can see I chose rock computer chose rock no winner won we, we don't have to display it we don't have to display it um well let's see well we have to display we have to display the winner you know, we can customize this method me, um, message trim it off trim the parentheses if no winner one we, we can do that if, if if we want over here we can we, we can in the in the method itself we can say this we can t another a way to do that is instead of when we turn a final message we check to see if final message is exactly is no winner one is exactly this okay then return the string no winner one Okay, we can do that, and then now when it's displaying, it's going to display, with display without the parentheses. But for now, let's just leave it like this. That that's one which that's an easy way to fix it. We're saying it, when before we return final message, before we return final message, we say if final message is exactly no winner one, then return no winner one without the parentheses. Then anytime it's displaying no winner one, it's going to have paren um, no parentheses. And then over here we check over. Over here, we check to see if one under the calls no winner one without parentheses. So we can easily fix it, fix it. But it, it's working now, so that's good. But but look at this. At this point, I chose rock. Computer chose rock. No winner one. And it's, 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 it's it displayed the message and said, "You both chose the same thing. Please play again. Options to choose from. The computer has made its choice. User, please make your choice. I'm going to type in rock. Still, it said you chose rock. Computer chose rock. No winner one." You both chose the same thing. Please play again. Options to choose from rock, paper, scissors. I'm going to type in rock. And then now it ended. It said you chose rock, computer chose paper. Computer one, paper wraps rock. Over here we know that rock and paper, paper and paper and rock. Whoever chose paper wins. Because because the computer chose paper, the computer won. Now let, let me fix it just for those um for or for those who are who want to really fix it. Um, so it, so it doesn't look like this, and it looks it looks perfect. It doesn't look like this because this is not really nice. You can easily fix it here, and say we're done. I'm just trying to um, modify it so it looks good. So we can say over here, if we can say if the final message. Let me go ahead and create the structure easily. I mean, we can easily do this. That's what that's what I meant to say. So if the final message dot equals exactly 
Okay, exactly. No win no one. With parentheses, then return. Um, oops. <clears throat> then return. Return the string. Return, or, or basically then set final message to this string. No winner one. Without the parentheses, and then after we do to do that, we can go ahead and return it. So we can go ahead and return final message. Okay, this is only when it's when it's equal to no winner one like this okay then go ahead and return final message but if else if it's not equal to that then else just return final message as it is okay if the final message is exactly this with parentheses i don't want to return you know this message just return something else change the final message to <coughs> to no winner one without parentheses and then return the final message. Else, return the final message as, as it is. That means it's not equal to no winner one. And over here in main, since final message is either going to be returned as a as a real message like like this, like like this computer one. That is that is in this case when it's not it's not no winner one. It's going to return it as it is like this, something like this. But if it's no winner one, it's going to return it like this. Well, we fix it here. We're saying if it's if it's this that is about to be returned, change it to no winner one without parentheses and return that instead. So we know now that the final message is going to be returned as either no winner one without parentheses or the regular final message like you know, like a real you know winner. So now when we are checking over here to see the re the return value of final message, we can say. While the winner, the win, uh, winner, because winner now is going to hold what is being returned from choose the choose winner method, which is the final method. It's a, the final message that's being returned into winner. So we can say while the winner dot equals no winner one. Now we can remove the parentheses because it's going to be either no winner one that's returned or a real a real string like this that's being returned. Okay. So while winner dot equals is equal to no winner one now without parentheses, then now go ahead and display this display the winner do everything now but by this time around when it's displaying it it's not going to display it when it's displaying the winner it's and, and it's no winner one it's not going to display the no winner one like this with, with this parentheses so that's that's what I was talking about about fixing it so let's compile this okay now we have an error I forgot to terminate this so I'm going to terminate this compile it and then I'll be, it's working let's run run this and see what's happening I'm going to type in rock and then I'll say it's computer computer one, so that's fine. We we didn't have any we didn't type in the same thing. Run it again. Type in rock. I just want us to type in the same thing, that's why I keep on typing rock. Rock. Hopefully we'll type in rock soon. So the computer will choose rock soon. Rock. And guess what? Now it says you chose rock, computer chose rock, no winner one. Now you see the parentheses are, are are not are not there. So now we fix that. You both chose the same thing, please play again. Um, and you can see we both chose rock. You can space these these strings out if you want. But for now, let's just give it. This is fine. You both chose the same thing. Please play again. Options to choose from shows us the menu again. The computer has made its choice. I'm going to type in rock. And now it says you chose rock. Computer chose paper. Computer won because you know whoever, whoever chooses paper, you know between these two options, win. Paper wraps rock. So now it's working. The program is working. You know without any errors. No no problems. And we're doing exactly exactly as the program is saying. If one player is doing this, if, if both players make the same choice, the game must be played again to determine the winner. And we are playing the game again. You can see the while loop is doing that. Um, so yeah, and we've we've divided our program into methods that perform each major task. We are not writing the code here in main. In main, we are only just calling the methods. See, we only call the methods. We are not doing anything ourselves. And the methods over here are doing everything. Okay, so. Let's close this a little bit. Oops. Well, I'll close this later on. But if you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, take care of yourselves.
and I'll see you next time with the next program. All right, bye-bye.